I am Michelle with two L's. And I am Natalie the Red. And we are Force of Light Entertainment. And today we are back for another first time watching reaction. Yes, today we're going to be watching a movie that neither one of us have seen, and that is Christopher Nolan's The Prestige. Yes. Uh, I've heard good things about it. Some people say it's their it's their favorite Nolan film. Well, it's kind of a big deal. It is. I, I will, let's see, of Nolan films, I have, I enjoyed all his Batman movies. Um, I think The Dark Knight is probably my, it is my favorite comic movie ever. And I very much uh, enjoyed Oppenheimer that came out last year, uh, but I hated Tenet. Yeah. With a burning passion. I didn't love that one, but I haven't <laughs> seen Oppenheimer yet still. So uh, we'll see how I feel about the prestige, because again, there's movies of his that I've really enjoyed, some loved, and then there there was there was Tenet. So uh, <laughs> we'll artists see. take risk. You know? That's true. That's true. So uh, we will see at the end uh, how I feel about this one. I will say about Christopher Nolan, his movies, they have such a, you can spot a Christopher Nolan movie immediately. Uh, I think he makes some of the most beautiful looking movies of any director out there. Um, but yeah, I know the prestige kind of involves magic. I don't really know a lot about this movie, uh, but again, I've heard good things about it. And we're ready to get magical. We are. We're ready to get. I know it's got a good cast, so uh, I'm excited. Prestigious cast, some would say. And I want to say Nolan always seems to get a great cast. They they all seem to want to work with Nolan. So, um, but yeah. Uh, before we get started, though, if you have not yet subscribed to Force of Light Entertainment and you enjoy movie reactions, you enjoy movie reviews, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Also, smash the thumbs up. And also ring the notification bell for future uh, first time watching reaction videos. Uh, but now, without any further ado, let's go ahead and watch Christopher Nolan's The Prestige. That's a long night of magic right there. <laughs> it's a lot of top hats. <laughs> Every magic trick consists of three parts. The first part is called the pledge. Perhaps he asked you to inspect it. Do you see that it is indeed real? It probably isn't. Oh, where do you think you're going? Oh, oh the bloody axe, you fool! Oh. The turn. The magician takes the ordinary something. Want to be fool. Making something disappear isn't enough. You have to bring it back. The Prestige. Don't you always like when they drop the movie title in the movie? <laughs> I saw someone making their way below stage. It was Borden. Watch it, Mr. Angier, drowned. Borden must have placed it under the trap door after the interview. How do you think Mr. Borden was able to move the tank under the trap door without anyone noticing? He's a magician, ask him. So I take Hugh Jackman's dead at the beginning, and we're gonna go back? That's what I'm thinking. Search, search for answers. Nolan also seems to like to tell things kind of out of order. Right, yeah. See, the cipher in his notebook is unlocked by a single word, but it'll still take months to translate his writing. The whole town has electricity. Yes, sir. Nice. Can't imagine living without it. <laughs> That'd be tough. It would be tough. Extreme danger. Is that what it said? Yeah. Never fear. Oh, oh, he touched it. Maybe that's why it said that. <laughs> yeah, voltage. How many of you newspaper writers can't read my sign? Not the welcome I was expecting. What's his name? Andy Serdakis or what, I forget his name. Something like that. Circus. Andy Circus. Oh, okay. Yeah. He was Gollum. <laughs> yeah. I'm Allie. Sorry about the fence. People keep interfering with our work. I've come to see Tesla. Impossible, I'm afraid. I brought a lot of money. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll be staying at the hotel. 
indefinitely. We were two young men at the start of a great career. Two young men devoted to an illusion. If you would tie her wrists, bind her feet, are either of you two gentlemen sailors? No. No. Oh. And that's a uh, Piper, whatever yeah. her name is. Starts with a P, the last name. Yeah, I know who she is. Impressive. Yes. Real magician tries to invent something new that other magicians are going to scratch their heads over, you know? I suppose you have such a trick, Mr. Borkner. That's your thing. Sell it to me? No. If you want to see what it takes to make real magic, go to the Tenley. There's a Chinaman there, and he really has what it takes. And whichever one of you can tell me how he does the goldfish bowl trick gets the prize. Ten minutes on stage with my old friend, Mr. Ackerman. Really? If that knot slips and Julia's on the hoist, she'll break the leg. If the rope swells up, she won't be able to slip it. I can slip the leg with underwater. No more mistakes. <laughs> All right, yeah? Do you? You want to take over? Just leave. Right then, thanks. So. It's kind of a difficult personality, Grace. <laughs> Sometimes I really don't get how yeah. they do it. Like, how is it possible? <laughs> I thought of a name for you. Oh. The Great Dan Tong. It's sophisticated. It's French. Warden writes as if no one but he understood the true nature of magic. But what does he know of self sacrifice? I love the intensity over the magic. <laughs> it's like life or death. But in some cases, I guess it, it really is. <laughs> yeah. You upset the little boy. <laughs> he's not buying it. See? He's all right. He's fine. Look at him. But where's his brother? Oh. He's a sharp lad, your son. <laughs> You're the lucky one today. So the boy was right? Yeah. He, he knew it. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Poor bird. I know. Hello. Thank you for lunch, Mr. Baldwin. You're welcome. Alfred. It's Alfred. You think that's uh, is that enough to keep me out? Christopher Nolan named Batman Alfred. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'll, I'll see you again. Milk and sugar. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Like, how the heck did he do that? <laughs> a good magician would make a really good thief. <laughs> they're, they're sneaky. <laughs> very, very sneaky. You built this, Mr. Cutter? Oh no, sir. This wasn't built by a magician. This was built by a wizard. I'm sure beneath its bells and whistles, it's got a simple and disappointing trick. Most disappointing of all, sir. It has no trick. It's real. This is the tank and you're drowned in? This isn't a trick lock. It's been switched for a real one. You see, this this water tank was of particular significance to these two men. Which of you brave souls is willing to bind this lovely young woman? Are either of you two gentlemen sailors? No. I'm sure you can both tie a strong knot. Don't have a good feeling about this one. But I'm like, are we watching the same? Is this the same? No, it's a different time. Okay. It's same trick, different time they did it. Because, you know, they all are in on it. I would not want to be the assistant either. <laughs> Um. Oh. Oh. 
No, no. She just lost consciousness, so she should be okay. I don't think she would have died. Either. Well, if enough water filled up, what the heck happened? Well, clearly her little lock or whatever didn't work. Maybe. Yes. Okay. <laughs> or was it somehow how Christian Bale like? like yeah, because what was the deal with the way he looked like at her when he tied it? Like, yeah, do it. Or... What do you want, Bowden? Oh, sorry for your loss, Angie. Which lot did you tie? I keep asking myself that. I'm sorry. I, I, I just don't know. You don't know? You don't know? <laughs> Like, boom. man, <laughs> who wants to volunteer? Are you man enough? Yes. Oh, oh, which knot did you tie, Borden? Which knot did you tie, Borden? <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Ah! 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 Ooh. He was going to straight shoot him. He came in to demand an answer, and I told him the truth that I have fought with myself. So it was a real bullet in that case? Well, remember, remember, he said that someone else can do it. It's still dangerous. So I guess, you know, he knew what to do. But never know for sure. How can he not know? <laughs> He's, I mean, rightfully ticked, yeah. but still made me laugh. I don't understand how it can be bleeding again. It's just, it's just bad as the day. Did he lose a finger or two? <laughs> you have to get a doctor back. We can't afford the bloody doctor back. So I need this to heal so I'll get back to work. Alfred, you've got to face things. What tricks can you possibly perform with this kind of injury? I can still do that. I can do the trick that I've been telling you. And this ties up here? That ties at the front. And that's good. All my mind thinks is how intelligent these people have to be to engineer this stuff. And you feel like it could be used for nefarious reasons. Well, no, like, a, you know, maybe something better than just magic. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> like they're inventive is what I'm saying. Yeah. Pretty assistant is the most effective form of misdirection. Hmm. Thank you. Put it round its foot. Be careful. He's all right, Lee. Oh, oh that's bloody marvelous, Connor. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen this one before? I'll make it a little harder then, shall I? Madam, if you place one hand on the back of the cage, one hand on the front. Thank you. Oh, oh. I don't like that. That's the Why the heck did he do like seriously, dude? Do this again? No. So what's the climax of our show? Like, you hurt the woman for no reason and the bird. Clear out. Anything here in the morning gets burned. I've hired a comedian. You know I hate comedians. <laughs> Well, it is, uh, as soon as you realize it was him, I'd just be like, I'm going to need a new yeah, one. Like, new no, 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 we got bad blood out. Our equipment requires a great deal of current. Tesla electrified the whole town in exchange for using the generators when we need them. Oh. But I bet somebody in town's awake. <laughs> yeah, someone. <laughs> they're, somebody. Like, they're like, what's all that bright light up on the hill over there? <laughs> Where are the wires? Exactly. Hmm. I'll send word for you in a few days, Mr. Angier. Real magic. Objections have been raised. They should be raised. The Thomas Edison's smear campaign against Mr. Tesla's superior alternating current. Some invention of Tesla, though. That stings for him. I love you. 
Today it's true. Yeah. <laughs> he said, yeah, <laughs> like some days it's not. <laughs> I'm taking her away. Tell her to reconsider. Take it. Go and take it. Tesla's agreed to see me. So, this is the great Denton. Hold out other hand. What's conducting the electricity? Our bodies, Mr. Angier, are producing energy. True. Eaten, Mr. Angier. I need something impossible. Man's reach exceeds his grasp. Is the lie? Man's grasp exceeds his nerve. First time I tried to change the world, I was hailed as a visionary. Second time, I was asked for my day to retire. <laughs> Mr. Angier, have you considered the cost of such a machine? Price is not an object. Perhaps not, but have you considered the cost? I'm not sure I follow. I can recognize an obsession. No good will come of it. If you understand an obsession, then you know you won't change my mind. So be it. Will you build it? I have already begun to build it, Mr. Angier. This will take some time. The trick was too good, it was too simple. Uses a double. No, 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 no. It's too simple. This is a complex illusion. The same man comes out of that second cabinet, I promise you. It's the same man. He wears padded gloves to hide his damaged fingers, but if you look closely, you can tell. The man stole my life. I'm gonna steal his trick. What's this for? I was see your sweet. You caught me in a wrong mood. Thank you. Thank you. It's the cut sinister end. I'd like you to meet Gerald Root. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> he does look quite a bit like him. <laughs> I mean, I think it is him. <laughs> Would you like me to tell you a little joke? Yes? Are you laughing now? I don't know what kind of joke <laughs> He's like, uh... Comedy's not his thing. Mm -mm. He needs a little help, but when I get done with him, he could be your brother. I don't need him to be my brother. I need him to be me. <laughs> So if you come down through there, does Root go up through there? Yep. Or this trick is getting noticed. Mm. I'm kind of like a Scarlett Johansson. How could there not be a trick? <laughs> <laughs> As a straight woman, I'm saying this. Ready to meet yourself, Mr. Angier? Would you favor us with a performance, Mr. Root? <laughs> claim this next feat as illusion. Do not be alarmed. What you're about to see. I still don't get how they're gonna pull it off. <laughs> yeah. They kind of showed us. Okay, so he goes down right there. Oh, yeah, yeah, he went down. But how does he go down so thinly that they don't see him go down? Oh, oh. oh. okay. <laughs> he grabbed that one. His woman. <laughs> Our achievement. <laughs> Wolfman's trick is nothing compared to ours. He's no style. Oh, he doesn't spend the finale hiding under the stage. I need you to go and work for him. <laughs> it's magic, sabot <laughs> sabotage. It's <laughs> getting him to. <laughs> She's like, I really don't want to do any of this. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty careless uh, to ask her to do that. Yeah, like she's like, I, you know, I'd rather just have the job I have. Like she clearly really likes him too. I yeah. mean, you know, likes him. I'm like, what happened? Is there a problem, Mr. Tesla? No, 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 no. Come back next week. Uh, next week, Mr. Tesla. Come back next week. It'll be fine. Tesla. Workshop. Yeah, we might do. Yes, she did it though. My name is Olivia. Me. <laughs> I was just saying that. One. I have a feeling a little something's gonna go on that? here. I'd love. Well, why don't I trust you? I am here because he sent me here. He wants me to come and work for you and steal your secret. Does he enjoy taking his bows under the stage? No, it's killing him. He's obsessed with discovering your methods. He sent me here to steal your secrets, but I've actually come to offer you his. This is the truth. Ruth. 
You're late and more drunk than usual. Now get down below stairs right away. Yeah. It's been what everyone's for now. We keep doing the trick until Borden opens and then we'll phase it up. And who are you? I am a humble Imara. I'm not performing tonight. Well, I know people pretty much run things these days. Oh, that's what I was going to say. I didn't think he was up there. At that point, he should have just gone up. Oh, oh. Oh, gosh. Oh. Like, where'd Homeboy come from? I mean, I guess they liked it. <laughs> They're like different trick. The great Danton. I feel the rivalry has gone way too far. Yeah. <laughs> and we still have a ways to go in this movie. Do you think it was her? I sent him to steal his secret not to improve his act. That's my job. I fall in love with him. I did everything you asked. Oh. Yes. So she did fall in love with him. He's just a double. I've seen things. Make up glasses, wigs. We don't need any of it for the show, but I've seen it hidden backstage. Just because you're sleeping with him doesn't mean he trusts you. You think you can see everything, don't you? His notebook. I thought you could translate some of it for now. Yeah. We'll see. We will not see. If I don't get that back to my tomorrow morning, he'll know I took it. Leave him. She's like, I would like an apology. <laughs> Oh, bring your wife back. I don't care about my wife. I care about his secret. Oh. oh. He's really losing himself yes. in this rivalry. Your he was, obsession will overtake you. Yeah, he was, a, he was a, I think, a good man at the beginning of the movie. Can't say the same about Christian Bale. Right. I'll go to his workshop and stage a break-in. No, you took it. Yes, me. Not you. She's like, so do you, do you still want me to stay here or go back with you? I've fallen in love with him. Oh. Well, I know how hard this has been for you. She said she had fallen in love? Yeah. yeah. But like, why? It's that bad boy thing, I guess. <laughs> He's not the nicest guy. The bad boy of magic. <laughs> And like, what about his wife? Where's she? That's what I'm wondering. I'm walking tonight. Let me come. Oh, okay. I'm alive. Saves me cutting you an air hole. But why do they want that dude? Yeah. Oh, is that his double? Maybe. This is getting confusing. <laughs> well, we'll see. Finally get your hands dirty. Sacrifice, I'm afraid, is all gonna be yours. Unless you give me what I want. Alan wouldn't tell me. In fact, he doesn't seem to talk at all. You have my notebook. Useless without the keyword. I down your method, Mr. Borden. Describe it in full. The keyword is the method. Which ones do you know? Alan! You hear me? Alan! Who's in there? That guy that they trapped. That works with him. Hello, darling. <laughs> oh, gosh. She's with him? We are celebrating. This fun. I am going to bury myself alive every night and then someone will come along and dig me up. Good night, Mrs. Borden. Good night, Freddy. Freddy? Oh, that's my name. What's that? Um, I'm not... What did you lose? She's like, and if you say magic, <laughs> we're done. Secrets <laughs> are my life. Performing. 
Honey, I think this is just who he is. He's never been a like <laughs> to a real his core. <laughs> yeah, he's never been the most charming or kind or warm person. Not really one to put others before himself. No. Including you. Yeah. You can be so much more than he is, and I can show you how. I think she's telling the truth. I think we cannot trust her, Anita. To open myself to such a relationship, to the dangers. That was real fast. <laughs> How could he send you away? She must help me rid ourselves of Angie. Today, Olivia proves her love for me. She gave you this notebook at my request. And yes, Tesla is merely the key to my diary, not to my trick. May you find solace for your thwarted ambition back in your American home. This has just gotten very intense between them. I know, I'm like, the temperature is really it's hot. <laughs> It's rising. <laughs> so where did my top hat go? Nowhere. We tried the damn thing a dozen times. <coughs> we need to try a different material. Aww. You were responsible for whatever happens to this animal, Doctor. He's like, if you mess with my cat, we done. okay. <laughs> well, I hope that whatever you were really doing with my money was more worthwhile, Mr. Tesla. Kath's like, I'm going to. Yeah. <laughs> <Peace. laughs> what? So now there are a bunch is what happened. It like created duplicates. What? <laughs> These things never quite work as you expect them to, Mr. Angier. That's one of the principal beauties of science. I'll need a couple of weeks. Yeah, I think we've now moved into science fiction. <laughs> I love you. I will always love you. And you alone. You mean that to say? Absolutely. Which makes it so much harder when you don't. Sarah, we'll shop it. She does love the smell of money, doesn't she? Sarah. She knows. She, I mean, at least she knows that something's not right. So to, to convince her that I do love her. What is it, Freddy? Just don't come with her, please. I say this sometimes it seems wrong. I told you before. He's like, sometimes my wife gets upset. <laughs> um. So the invention was burned down. Like it kind of kind of looks that way. Yeah, I guess so. Because I mean, the whole thing looks like it blew up. I didn't think it was necessary to tell Edison's man about the box. No box. Oh, so it was delivered. I apologize for leaving without saying goodbye, but I seem to have outstayed my welcome in Colorado. Perhaps you'll find more luck in. Oh no, they did spurn it. I had only one suggestion on using the machine. Destroy it. Such a thing will bring you only misery. He's like, it's great. <laughs> After reading that. Mike, so there's going to be two of them? But here at the turn, I must leave you bored and sitting there in your cell. Oh. Awaiting your death for my murder. He didn't die! Right. He didn't die! Plot twist. My tricks. All of them. Including the transported man. Oh. Well, it's just a pledge and a turn for each. These are worthless. Yeah. You get a rest of it when you bring my daughter here. I want to say goodbye. Olivia means nothing. I know what you really are, Alfred. Sarah, <laughs> shut up! I don't want to hear it anymore. You can't talk like this. I want to know what she's going to say, but she knows what he really is. I can't live like this. Oh, well, you think I can live like this? You seem to be able to. <laughs> Alfred, I can't live like this! Well, what do you want from me? I want you to be honest with me. Do you love me? Not today. Oh, gosh. 
He's kind of a psychopath. Like a sociopath? Or sociopath, yeah. yeah. But maybe a full-blown psychopath. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. <laughs> like, but why that? It's my last show. A limited engagement. Your last shot. A wise man once told me obsession was a young man's game. Turn it on, gentlemen. But he has to come back. There has to be a... A prestige. Exactly. Hmm. It's very rare to see real magic. You haven't spoken about her, Freddy, not once. Why would I talk about her to you? Now she's gone. I'm like you both should feel a little bad about yourselves. <laughs> she had something to tell me about you. What she said. Clearly, they're not going to leave us hanging. I never loved Sarah. Part of me did, but the other part didn't. The part that found you, the part that's sitting here right now. You could be in some other restaurant with some other woman right now. Talking about me that way. It's the exact thought I had. It's inhuman to be so cold. I agree. Yeah. Dan's reach exceeds his imagination. Quite the trick. It is. Well, he keeps saying it's not a trick. Right. He's very upset. Yes, very <laughs> triggered. He's a no talent magician, and they're calling him the bloody best in England. What is going on under that stage? Huh? Why can't you outthink him? Why can he outthink him? Is that one of his secrets? That other guy's actually the brains behind the operation? Right. Okay, so what are they taking off? I told you, John. I don't want you backstage on this one. I would like to invite you to come up on stage. Okay, so I think there are clones of him. <laughs> yeah. I think that's what they're carting off. But where does he disappear to? I don't know. They'll, I think they'll show us. Who was that? But is it really him? Or like the cat situation where there were multiple cats? Right. Make the bloody key! Bloody drowning! And so he is actually trying to help get him out now, we see. Yeah. Hold on! Ah! Hmm. You have been found guilty of the murder of Robert Andrew. You will be hanged by the neck until dead. Oh. Hello, my love. How are you? I've missed you so much. We're like, but do you really love her? <laughs> Right. Do you mean this today? <laughs> you must be the cow. Hold on. Yes, I am. I always have been. The flat here with all those chains, Alfred. I mean, don't they know you can't escape without your little rubber ball? I don't know what you've done. So it's like the decoy? No. This ain't a bloody competition anymore, Angie. This is my little girl's life. I know how hard it is to have something so special taken away from me, don't I, Borden? Goodbye, Professor. No. Come on, darling. No, 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 no. Stop, my darling. Stop, 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 look. That's what you're after. Take it. Your secret? Yeah. But whatever your secret was, you have to agree. That is better. Come on, Angie. Angie! 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 Now I'm like, can he get out of it though? All right. We need one last magic trick. Yeah. I don't know. It's kind of like Lame is, but he's not a good man. <laughs> Adopted a little blonde girl. 
Hello, Cutter. You're still alive. How is it you're still alive, Robert? I saw you on a slab, for God's sake. I came here to beg Lord Caldwell to let me destroy that machine. I am not going to beg you for anything. I'm make sure that machine is never used again. I mean, I don't have as far as you. <laughs> you're right. I should have left him on his damn trip. Sorry for a lot of things. Sorry about Sarah. You live for both of us. The ball. I feel like this is gonna come into play. Yeah. yeah why is that guy so emotionless? Um, like, lacking emotion in that moment. He's a man of few words. <laughs> he definitely has been that. I feel like there's a final trick up this movie's sleeve. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Are you watching closely? What do you say? Are you watching closely? Oh. Like I am watching closely. <laughs> oh, okay, so the man in the box. Gotta. You have anything to say? <laughs> like, but is that just the one guy? No. <laughs> but how? But how? <laughs> but how? <laughs> We were both Fallon. We were both Borden. So which one died? Were you the one who went into the box? Or the one who came back out? We took turns. So maybe the truth was that he's a twin. Yes. So that's why he loved him so the woman sometimes, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Simple maybe, but not easy. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Two men they were devoted. Oh no. I don't understand how it can be pleasing again. We've been Olivia and her and her wife. We each loved one of them. Oh, so one was faithful. I love Sarah. He loved Olivia. It takes nothing to steal another man's work. It takes everything. No, 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 wait, I'm not. Oh, that's what I was saying. I knew he was, that he was carrying out the bodies. That's what I, I figured. It, it took courage to climb into that machine every, every night. If I'd be the man in the box, all in the prestige. The audience knows the truth. But if you could fool them, even for a second, then you got to see. That was like worth killing over. <laughs> oh. Every magic trick consists of three parts or acts. The first part is called the pledge. At least the little girl gets her dad. <laughs> <laughs> One of them. I'm still. <laughs> that's him because he said I love Sarah. So okay. that that's his, the, the girl's father. Okay. The other one was his twin that died that loved Scarlett Johansson's character. Okay. You have to bring it back. So he helped him in the end. Hey. Yeah. Man, I understand at that point. Right. The guy had gone way too far. <laughs> yeah. But if he was never the one in jail, oh, where was he? That's true. So he didn't help him, actually. He, uh, just, you know, gave his daughter back to him. You want to be Fooled. Mm, want to be what? Fooled. And they oh. showed like another version of him, which makes you wonder. <laughs> right. <laughs> which makes you wonder which one was uh got shot. Yes. Um, I, I my thoughts on this movie. Do you want me to go first? Sure, you want to go first? You should. Yeah. 
Uh, I think it definitely is a cautionary tale. I right. mean, obviously, because you have two characters that are, at first, Hugh Jackman's characters, like, seems less, seems less, yeah, yeah. like, kind less, of, less off, less bad, and, like, so, but then he keeps progressing because of his obsession, right, so then you're basically, like, you've got two not very good people, and, and then you realize some of the things that you judged, uh, Christian Bell's character for not being good, it was because it was his brother. But then you're like, but why did you not ever at least tell your wife? Because that led to her, you know. That's really yeah, it's hard all, for me. Yeah. yeah. Like he didn't say. Yeah. It's just but like, I guess it was like that serious it, to him. Because that's the, that's the point of the like movie. You like, give it away. Yeah. Like both of them were so obsessed with their magic that it, it leads to tragedy in both situations. And yeah, so it was it was interesting the way they did it. I didn't really see this coming. Uh, the only, like the, the critique I would have is I don't really love, like, I don't really love that you had to go into science fiction territory for like magic. Like I, I, I feel I would have been more impressed by the prestige if um, it stuck truly to like a logical magic that people can do like did it, did it not though no natalie they were making clones of people oh that's true <laughs> in two seconds <laughs> no <laughs> it went the science fiction category um <laughs> natalie's like i take it back <laughs> my brain over here is <laughs> Uh, I mean, I, like, I get it. It just, uh, yeah, it took different routes. <laughs> I definitely would say this. People who say, like, they think it's the best Christopher Nolan film. I think it's a very solid fil film. I don't, I don't personally think it's going to top anywhere close to me, The Dark Knight, or even Oppenheimer. I think Oppenheimer, to, in my opinion, is a better movie. Like, uh, I mean, that's my opinion. If you differ, you differ. Uh, but... I mean, it was interesting. This movie kept you on your toes, definitely. Um, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it it wasn't my favorite kind. Of, it wasn't my favorite movie for sure. Uh, I can't say it was high on the enjoyment scale for me, but, you know, I gave it a try. And maybe if I understood more on a second viewing or something, it would it would be better. There's just a lot to keep up with up here. Well, what do you not get at the end? I don't, it was just a lot of back and forth and a lot of clothes. Well, because, and I will say this. I will and say then this. I guess and then the twin thing threw me and then you've got it. It was just a lot. It was. A lot. I, I will say this, that Christopher there Nolan. Was electricity involved. Huh. I don't know. I will say this, that Christopher Nolan definitely likes to tell stories uh, kind of like He'll 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 jump around time frames a lot and doesn't let you know. So you have to kind of definitely follow with Chris Nolan what he's doing. And then also I will say this movie had a, a common critique of Nolan movies is the sound, like the audio sometimes will go really soft to where it's you you're kind of strained to hear. A yeah, you're bit. like you're like straining the, the dialogue. Yeah, to get what they're saying. And I definitely got that in this movie some. But I mean, I still appreciate. Uh, especially for like just a story that was just made new, fresh uh, at the time. Um, yeah, I, I mean, mean, it's definitely creative. It was very creative. That, that's yeah. what I was going to get at. It was very creative. Um, so what do I give this? I'm going to give this on a scale of four, uh, a scale of five hoots, five being max level of enjoyment. It kept me engaged. I'm going to give this, as far as the movie and my enjoyment, I'm going to give it four out of five hoots is what I'm going to give this one. Again, for me, this is not as good, near as good as Dark Knight or uh Oppenheimer as far as Christopher Nolan films and guys I don't mean to be a killjoy but I'm gonna give this two and a half foods for me <laughs> Natalie's like it was not for me uh yeah I think I was more engaged with it than you but and it's definitely one of these guys I don't know that I'll ever watch it again like you yeah. know it's one of those like I appreciate it but I don't know that I'm ever gonna watch it again quite right. frankly or like Oppenheimer I saw twice in theaters but but anyways that that's our thoughts on the prestige uh, let us know your thoughts. Uh, where do you rank it in uh, Christopher Nolan films? Uh, share your thoughts below. And if you have not yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Also give this video a thumbs up. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, remember to, to be, be a force of supply. All right. Bye, bye guys.